Hello, it's a long time again, and what good weather we're having. I am not one of these people who complain about the hot weather. I love it. Now, while I do sympathise with people who can't stand this weather, this is my time, my time to be selfish. Just for what? Just, just for a few weeks. Well, just for a week anyway, because it's gonna, it's gonna be raining again next weekend apparently. So yeah, on with the vlog. Now, just after the last vlog, we had news of the never to be updated again Windows being announced Windows 11 with a load of requirements that mean that most of today's computers won't be compatible. Uh, yeah, nice one Microsoft. Linux is always open and free. <laughs> Takes some getting used to, but yeah, it's there. Yeah, so um, my laptop is as, as as it looks current. My laptop won't be Windows 11 compliant, so uh, that'll either be a new laptop or um, I got five years. I suppose that's not too bad, but I don't buy laptops very often. The last laptop I got was over a decade ago. Anyway. On other operating system news, last week I bought a Migros 3.2. Still waiting for it to arrive, but I got the ROMs to fit into my real Amiga, and I've also got an 8GB flash card which is fully prepped with Workbench on it, all fully licensed. I like licensed these days. No more piratey stuff for me, now I can afford it. Well, gotta justify it. But I can afford it now, so I don't not be immoral against anyone else because I know things are, are not as easy. But yeah, for me now, licensed all the way. Good. Um, yeah, talking about licenses, I got my drone license. Um, so I've learned a lot from it as well. I learned that what I am doing with it, provided I am licensed and I got an operator's license, is actually legal. So yeah, carry on. Uh, I know where not to fly, I know where it's safe to fly, I know where to be careful when you're flying and uh, when I have my uh, days off and we go away to beaches, whatever, I know if I can fly and that I can fly and get some decent aerial footage. So yeah, looking forward to that, looking forward to showing you lot. Okay, now, on the subject of we just covered Windows, I'm trying to break Break my connection with Windows for reliance with Windows for streaming. I've been using Streamlabs Chatbot for the audio effects, but I found something called Phantom Bot. Uh, it runs on the local machine and uh, operates its own listening port, connects to various bots, and is actually secure behind Apache. That is optional. That is my choice to make it easier to access. Also completely secure. So yeah. It's been fun trying to work out how to get it working. It's not perfect yet, but we'll keep playing. And uh, hopefully I don't have to worry about Streamlabs chatbot and Windows again. It also makes, um, well, if I'm not using real hardware, if I'm just using MAME, it also makes streaming a lot easier um, because I don't have to have the mic routed through the desktop. So uh, on to the next thing, talking about real hardware. Um, an actual Commodore 64 demo scene guy, Jammer. I think he does the audio. He's, I'm, I'm amazed when I find, found out who he was. He's, um, he actually commented on one of my C64 videos saying about the saturation. So rather than take offence, thinking, hmm, what can I do about this? Because I haven't got the hardware to sort it out. <clears throat> What I have discovered is I can use saturation filters in OBS and yeah, it reduces it to quite a recent level. He's, 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 he said it looks okay, so let's see what happens now in, in, in future videos with Dromedo 64. <laughs> Until I can get something which will give me a better output on the Commodore 64. Yeah, old hardware and all that lot. Good stuff, but uh, quite fun to get working with modern equipment, capture equipment. Right, look at this, no more clickies, no more clickies. When that was um, put on my wall, when my son got this, similar chair, it was about 130 quid. When I put it on the watch list on eBay, it was 110 quid. I thought a little while ago I'd have a look to see what it was. 
it was under 50 quid. I know! <laughs> it took a while to get you. It uh, seemed to uh, not get dispatched. I got the tracking uh, information, but it was never received by the uh, by the courier. So I got in contact with the seller and he was pretty good, you know, no ignoring, got through and he said, okay, we'll resend. I don't think he resent. I think he was sent for the first time, but it's here, it's here with no problems. I gave him a positive review for that. Positive feedback, yeah. Customer service to me means more than more than the world. It's very important to me. Ah, right. And the last thing is, oops. <laughs> this one is uh, slightly embarrassing. You know, I've been having these problems with the hard drives in the computer. Well, I thought I'd solve them with a SATA card. Tiny little thing it is, fits in the PCI Express port, which is only like a eight pin, 10 pin. I'm not sure, I'd have to look it up. Anyway, plug that in, plug the hard drive in. It's a three and a half inch hard drive. It's in a five and a half inch bay, more on that in a second. Um, five and a quarter inch bay. Uh, put it all together. It worked, it detected it. Set it up, great, went to our bath, came down, computer had shut down. So I switched it off at the um, at the power supply, switched it back on again, felt hot at the top. I thought there was the capture card acting up. Um, thought nothing more of it. it. Was working fine until the evening, watching a stream. That was on the laptop and uh, streaming audio through and then just everything just shut down. Bang, gone. Reset, booted up again. A few minutes later, shut down again. Suspecting the SATA card, I went to open up the computer. The top is scalding. Oh no, no, please. Opened it up, surely enough, the PSU fan wasn't spinning. It was a thermal cutout on the power supply. Itchy nose. Then I noticed the little red and black wire going through the grill into the fan, stopping it spinning. I thought, oh, I hope I haven't fried this. Took the wire out, gave it a quick go, fan spun up, yay! Put it all back together, it's been fine ever since. Schoolboy error, we all make them. <laughs> yes, the cable in my computer is a mess. There's not much room in there, to be honest, with what I got in there. But yeah, I've learned from that one now. I'll check all the fans are clear. I checked all the other fans on the board, I just didn't check the PSU fan. Oh! Right, so now, back onto that, uh, size difference. I've got three two gigabyte hard drives now because I thought each one was faulty. But I'm going to fit two of them into the computer. One is in there already and I'm waiting now for two adapters, three and a half, to th three and a, five and a quarter to three and a half inch adapters so they fit in there neatly. And I'll have nicer, a better storage and more reliable storage inside my computer. So I've got the dock and I'll use the other hard drive there. I'll probably uh, once I know for a fact it's all working properly, just wipe it and use it purely for backups. And uh, yeah, so, <laughs> on the up. So yeah, on that note now, that's the end of my, uh, my rambling for this time. And uh, we'll catch you again in three weeks. Enjoy the weather while it lasts. See you next time. Tarano.